Hey, it's another day here. And today, we have a Marshall amp. It's an MG 100 HDFX. This belongs to a friend of the son of a friend of mine. And the problem is, the power switch is fucked. It's done. It's, it's all over. It needs to be replaced or something else put in there. So, we're going to take apart this amp and see if we can't do something with that power switch. A few screws in the top, I believe this will come right out. Let's just turn this around. Oh, kind of heavy. Let's see the back. Yeah. He says he likes this amp. And I don't know. I don't. I never tried it, so I don't know. So we'll, we'll take off the top. Or take the screws out of the top and we'll go from there. All right, let's see if we can take this thing apart. right up and it'll come right up look at that thing of beauty nice all right we'll get rid of this for now Cobwebs out of here. Yeah, that looks like the power switch right there. Let's see if we can get you out of here a little bit. Get a closer look. Power switch right there. Oh, that's going to be a piece of cake. I wonder how many pulls that is. Well, either way, it's. White wires on the left, black wires on the right. You guys can remember that in case I forget. Maybe I should write it down. Let's get a Sharpie and write that down. Put you back in the stand. Oops. Oh, so much for the stand. Yeah, we'll get back to you. Alright, we just gotta get these wires off of here. Two. Three. Four. There we go. Typically these switches are held in with little clips that you squeeze. And they'll just pop right out of there. Usually, famous last words. Yeah, there's a clip on the bottom. Typically, they're hard to get out. There we go, not too bad. The back one to squeeze. Of course, the front one went back in. There we go. Look at that. 
And there we have our broken switch. Kind of hard to tell what went to what. Let's see what it says on the switch because there's no guts left. Like single pull, single throw, or double pull, double throw. That'd be nice to know. I guess we're going to have to trace out the wires because this ain't really telling me shit. One A, two A, excuse me, three B and four B. I don't know what that means. I assume that these two make together. Those two make together. Now I'm gonna have to trace the wires out. Damn it! It'd be nice to know that. Nice to have the other half of the switch. All right, so the black wires come I <coughs> really don't want to cut all these wires. Where's the power come in? Power comes in here. I'm gonna have to cut the wires to trace it out. Cut the wires, but cut the wire ties. Well, they can always be replaced, right? More shit to do. More stuff to do. Alright. So the power comes in here. White wire goes up to here. Hooks to that white wire. Which goes down to... That say G and D ground. Okay, so those two are ground. Hooks up the grounds over here. Okay, and these two powers power comes in here. Probably goes through these two wires. Comes back to here. Over to. Here, looks like it goes through a fuse. Okay, so apparently these two wires got to hook together, and these two wires got to hook together. But not to each other, because that would be bad. Sparks fly when you do stuff like that. And we don't want sparks. Now, we could test this out. There is a power LED on there. Yep. I could put a little jumper in there. And just turn on and see what happens. Hmm. Let's get some jumpers set up. And then I'll bring you guys back. Alright, I got my jumper wires all hooked up. You can see right there. And uh, we'll go flip the power switch and see what happens. Look at that. Everything powers on. So I think we've established that it's a double pull, double throw switch. And there's no sparks flying. Except that fan is making a lot of noise. We'll check into that a little later. Yeah, that's good. So now i got to find me a switch. If I let it run, that fan sounds like crap. I don't think it's going to die right out. <laughs> maybe, maybe it'll quiet if it runs a while. It's a big heat sink for a transistor or something. Probably need that fan. Let's turn it off. It's not sounding too good. Now i got to find me a switch. Although he did say if it would just turn on when he plugs it in, he'd be okay with that. Because he couldn't use it at all. Probably be nice if we had a switch, though. Actually, we only need to switch one side of it. They are switching both the hot and the neutral. Which, I don't know why you'd have to do that. 
Let me see what I got in my stash. these jumpers anymore because I know it works. So let's see what I got in my stash of parts switches. Hmm. I wonder if this would take the uh, I wonder how much wattage that is. Does it say? It must say. Hundred and seventy-five watts. How many amps is that roughly? Hundred and seventy-five watts. Volts times watts and amps. Oh, I don't know. Did this even work there? Hundred and seventy-five watts. I don't know what the rating is on these. I no, can't use that. That would work. Let's see what else I got here. No, not that. Let's try the other one. What do we have in here? Ooh, that would definitely take the current. Oh, here's a lighted one. Too big for the hole, though. Could always make the hole bigger. It's the right width. It just has to be a bigger hole. Could use that, maybe. That's an outlet. Well, this switch is a 5 amp switch and 125 volts. 3 amps at 250. So this is 175 watts. Somewhere here it said, oh yeah, 175 watts, 120 volts. So 175 watts equals 1.46 amps. So this switch will more than do the uh, more than do the job. I just got to figure out a way to mount it on here. In there, that would actually that would actually look pretty nice if I put a little metal plate in there. That'll look rather nice. Just gonna make some kind of a square little plate. Then we can mount that all together. Let's see what I can find to do that with. All right, so now I got that switch mounted. I made a little plate out of some metal. Mount it right in there. Five amp switch, 175 watts draws 1.46 amps. So we're good with that. Now all we gotta do is figure out how to wire it. It shouldn't be that big a deal. So let's back down. Now the two white wires, I don't know why we would have to switch those. So we are just going to wire them together. Because I don't have a two pole single throw switch. I guess I could have went out and bought one, but still I don't see why you would have to wire these together. In fact, I probably could just plug this right onto the board down here instead of this. I wonder. Probably can. 
if I can get it off of there. Sometimes you gotta use a little uh, persuader. There's like a screwdriver or something to get under there. There we go. Which is the same wire actually. Take that off of there. here I'm sure it's a different size spade right yeah I think it is is this one long enough to go from there to here yeah that's a different size too well we can fix that we got other ones someplace. <clears throat> Let's see if I got another spade connected in here. Cookie tool. There we go. That's what we need. So we got over here. This one off because it's too small. Strip the tiny little water. Oh, sure. Let's go ahead and be that way. <clears throat> Didn't crimp it enough. Probably won't go back in now. Oh, yeah, it does. Hmm. Never did like these crimpers. There we go. Now it doesn't pull off. That's how you know it's in there good. Make sure we got electrical connection, maybe. It's always good to know. <clears throat> Can we get in there? There we go. We're good. Okay. So that can plug right onto the board. No, there we go. Look at that. Now these these guys here. If I did the other spade connector, I could just plug them in. And here at the other side. Do not have any nail spades, so we're gonna have to wire nut those. Couple wire nuts. Slice these things off. Strip these wires. One. Just 
to switch wires, which are a little long. Maybe I should cut them off. Strip new wires. Yeah, that's good. here. I never did check the switch to make sure it worked. That'd be a bummer. You pull on your wire nuts after you screw them together and they don't come off, you know you're good. Okay, now, I should throw some little wire ties on there. Let's see if it works first. Zip this in. <clears throat> okay, we're off now. And turn the power on. Oh, the power is on. Nope, it's not done. We're good. Wait a minute. Here we go. goes. Power on. Fans making noise. Power off. Power on. Yeah, all looks good. Noisy fan. I wonder if I can oil that. Well, that's a video for another day. I'll just screw it back in the cabinet. Actually, I can plug it in and try it with something. Should I do that? And that's what our speakers. Formal minimum. Let's try plugging it in to a speaker. What the hell? What do you think? Speaker out. Got to plug something in somewhere. Oh, input over here. And plug this in here. There we go. Turn that on. How loud is that? Turn this thing up. Oh, wow, that's got some noise in it. Wow, that's really loud. Let's turn that down a bit and try it again. Yeah, it works, I'd say. Yep. I guess we'll call it at the end of the video. Y'all have a good day. Bye.